where I should have moved the palette rather than the camera because I turned off my camera, so apologies for that. So yes, I have Warren Frank Brown, Irial Yellow, White Scar, Scar, Scar White, whatever it was, and a little bit of red. And using white as the core, I'm going to mix some yellow and brown into it. And almost microscopic amount of red. And the next thing you know, you've got a workable flesh tone, which won't be dissimilar to too much pink in there. That's cool. um, yeah, that's a workable flesh tone, uh, which wouldn't be that dissimilar to some of the flesh tones that are available here in the in the bottle. Um, so. Uh, that's one way of doing it. You do are not limited to using uh, predefined flesh tones. They are there for your convenience, and there's nothing wrong with that. Um, I'd say as well, if you took something like a uh, these three colours, uh, we've gone ochre from AK, red brown from AK, and ivory. That would give you a very decent uh, flesh starting tone as well. So, you know, you don't necessarily need uh, predefined sets of colour. That's the key point there. Now, right, let's go try not to turn the camera off again. Uh, Doke. Right, so last night, just for to illustrate what we did last night, this is the guy I painted. Uh, so the key things to note, there's no real dark shadows. There, there are changes in tone and there are, let me just, um, We are looking and imagining a light coming down from the top. And so his shoulders, if you look at him from above like that, those areas that you're looking at there will all be in highlight. And if we look at it from below, you can see that they're darker, um, but not black shadow kind of thing. And then you get a lit, a, an element of the light itself causing a bit of shadow and the uh, highlights and shadows I've added that create shape to those volumes and shapes that are sculpted into the miniature. That's what we're going to attempt to do on the other figure. Uh, I'll try to take take you through those steps. Um, last night, and what I'll probably do here because it can end up being quite a time consuming thing and we don't really want to bore everything, everyone senseless. Uh, I painted half a figure uh, last night uh, and so you could see the contrast between what I'd done, what I had painted and what I hadn't painted, just so you could see the effect of what I've done. Uh, since last night I've gone and done a little bit more, I uh, haven't painted everything ideally but uh, I was surprised myself as I was painting some more that you could see some teeth in him which I've painted in that mask. It's got a bit of expression. There's still more I can do to that. There is still more to, and I'm trying to decide whether to do that in the next session live on Thursday uh, night, uh, a week, well, yeah, Thursday night, first Thursday in March, or whether to do that on the video. I don't know. Uh, we'll, uh, uh, maybe put stick that as a question for everyone. But now I'm going to try and do that on this guy. Now the significant thing is 
is these are different poses. I like this one because it gives you a lot of uh, area to see the musculature, abs and all that kind of stuff. Uh, and those muscles in the back. It's not quite so easy to access some of those. So uh, it's going to be a different set of things that get picked up on this guy. Uh, but yeah, let's move on. Right, actually, I'm going to stop here because I don't want any of these videos to end up being too long. I'm going to stop, start again, uh, and describe what I'm doing. So next video will be, this should have been one video with the last one. Um, see you in a minute.